Welcome back to Advanced English Language Academy. Today I am sharing medical words with you, okay? You can call it vocabulary. For the first time I'm sharing a vocabulary from my channel. So how to describe health problems in English? Let's suppose you go to some uh, foreign country and you have uh, a health problem. Even in Pakistan or in, in a non-native country, you can talk about your health problem. So that's very easy. English has very easy rules to describe your health issues, okay? Uh, God forbid, I don't want you to have a health issue, but you can talk about them, right? For example, we talk about body pain, okay? You have pain in some certain part of body. So you say body part plus ac. For example, head is the body part, and you use ac with it. So when you use ac, that becomes the pain of that body, that body part. For example, head is the body part, and when you used aqua that, so it became the pain of that body part, it became the pain of the head. So you say, I have a headache, I have pain in my head, right? Uh, but one thing I'm telling you, that ac can be used with certain uh, body parts, not with all body parts, right? And I have mentioned them. Toothic, okay? Tooth, the tooth and you got pain in your tooth. So you say toothic, I have a toothic, right? And ear, so when you use ek with ear, it becomes the pain of the ear, okay? You have uh, uh, pain in your ear, so you have I have an earache. Belly ek, okay? Belly, you have uh, pain in your belly, so you can say belly ek. The body parts with which we cannot use uh, ek, what will we do with them? For example, your arm, okay? So now uh, your arm uh, has pain, so it's not something common. Not many people, that, that must have some reason. Uh, it's not a kind of ailment. So for these body parts you will use, my arm is aching, my finger is aching, my shoulders are aching, my foot is aching, okay? For all the body parts, except, you know, there are, uh, for stomach ache you can use, but there are certain words with which you can use, uh, certain body parts with which you can use ac, not with all of them. With the remaining body parts, if you have pain in the remaining body, so for the remaining body parts, like arm, finger, shoulder, foot, you will use this structure. My finger is aching, my shoulders are aching, my foot is aching. You cannot say I have an arm ache or I have a foot ache, you cannot say that, right? Some known ailment that has a medical name like malaria. So I have malaria, I have COVID-19, I have flu, because they already have names, okay? So what's the difference between I got and I have? Got means you just got that problem. For example, you are sitting somewhere, the class is noisy, and you say, I got a headache, just, just got that. And I have a headache means already you are suffering from that problem, okay? So, and then we talk about the bones. So I broke my arm. It doesn't mean that you deliberately broke your arm. No, I broke my arm means you just uh, got, okay, you got the problem. Uh, you got the accident, I broke my arm. I fell from a tree uh, or I had an accident and I broke my arm. I broke my leg, okay? You can talk about I broke my foot. I broke my wrist and I broke my finger. So a few medical uh, words I wanted to share with you today. Stay tuned, keep watching. Thanks a lot.